Hey, hi guys. In this session, we are going to see how to find out duplicate number in an array. Suppose interviewer has given you some numbers and they are asking you to find out duplicate numbers. There are many ways to find out duplicate numbers like by using hash set, hash set contains unique elements. So by using hash set, we can find out duplicate numbers. Other way we can use for loop, right? For using for loop also we can find out duplicate numbers. So in this session, we are going to see by using hash set. So what we can do, we can copy these numbers. I'll write a code. Class I already have created. Now I'll create main method. Now I'll store these numbers in list. List dot of. Now we can create one reference variable where we can store these numbers. Now we can import this list interface. This belongs to java.util package. Now what we can do, we can create hash set. We can create an object for hash set. And it contains unique elements. So I'll take a reference variable as an unique. We can import this hash set as well. And this hash set also belongs to java.util package. Now I'll create one other object as well. That is array list where we are going to store duplicate elements. Duplicates is equal to new. A list. Now I'll use for each loop to traverse those numbers. And I'll copy this list here. I'll put one more condition. If this unique element dot add method I will use. And here I'll paste this numbers. I'll explain you. Let me write it first. Now what I'll do, I'll store in this. No, if it is false, if condition is false, then we can store these numbers, duplicate numbers in this array list. And then we can print the statement. Let me explain you now. See, so we have created three statements right here. So see, all the numbers we have stored in this list, right? Now, this, this object we have created to find out the unique element, right? And this one we have created to store the duplicate element. Now I'll tell you how we can find out the duplicate number. So see, 
for traversing these numbers we have used this for each loop right this is an object this is a reference variable we can take anything you can write anything here and this is a list this list right because these numbers are stored in this list the reason we are using the list here so that we can traverse each and every number each and every element right now here we are putting one condition condition is like this is a unique element right if we store these numbers in this unique element right how we can store how we are storing here this reference variable we are taking and now this add add is a method right add is a method of this hash set so we are using add here and we are adding these numbers one by one we are traversing and while traversing we are storing these numbers in this reference variable and this reference variable we are adding here it means all the numbers all the objects we have stored in this right so now it will contain only unique element because has set contains only unique element but here we have used this it means if it is not an unique element in that case it will store in this reference variable duplicate and duplicate means we are storing in this array uh, duplicate is a reference right here we have given reference for this array list so if this condition is not satisfying it means if the number is not an unique in that case only it will store the number here it means if the number is not an unique in that case number will get stored in this reference variable means in this array list and then we are printing this this duplicates here because here it is getting added only duplicate numbers unique element will get stored in this one and duplicate elements are getting added in this this reference variable means in array list so let me run it it is written in 10 and 20 because if you can see here 10 we have two times 20 also we have two times if you want to replace this instead of 6 we can put here 5 then it will return 5 5 is also written as a duplicate right so this is how we can find out duplicate number by using has set so this is very simple thanks for watching this video